Welcome back design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the stopper for this bottle. Uh, your bottle may be entirely different than mine. Uh, maybe you want to make the same kind of stopper, maybe you want to make a different one. But um, I'm going to show you how to make this one. You can use this kind for your bottle or you can start with a sphere or something like that. Or you can use a cylinder and just make a, make a cork, a very simple cork. You just expand the top vertices and sort of make it taper at the bottom and then put a cork texture on it like we've done with lots of other things. So I'm going to start with a cylinder and move this up. I'm actually going to take my image plane and move it back away from here some. I moved it in the wrong direction. Take this and use my scale tool to scale it down a little bit and then I'm going to um, Come to the Attributes Editor and change its, its radius. Go to the Perspective View. Maybe make it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to give this a cap segment so that I have something to extrude down. Switch to the perspective view, and I'm going to switch to edge mode. Grab this and scale it out just a bit. And then I'm going to um, switch to face mode. And grab all of these faces here. Rotate and make sure I didn't select anything I didn't mean to. Then I'm going to hold down shift and with my move tool I'm going to make an extrusion. And then I think I'm going to get my scale tool and scale in, pull that down, and then hold down shift and make another extrusion. Now I've got some geometry to work with. I'll switch back to the front view. And I'm going to switch to X-ray mode by clicking uh, this button right here. And let's zoom in a little bit. Let's switch to vertex mode. And grab all of these vertices, get the scale tool, and scale them in. And then I'm just going to scale these in, I think is what I need to do. And I'm scaling them in all axes here. And we'll pull this down some. I'm going to switch to the perspective view now because I think I want to pull all of this down here. If you want to select a ring of vertices, you click one and then hold down shift and double click the next one and that's what I want to do here. Because I want to pull this down some like so. But I want to pull all of it down so I'm going to hold down shift and grab Grab all of it. Switch back to the front view. Then I'm going to grab just these now and scale them in. Scale this in some more. And then I'm going to chamfer this edge. So I'm going to switch to edge mode, double click that edge, shift right click, and actually, sorry, bevel that edge. and give it some segments to make it a nice curve. And I'm going to delete this top edge because I don't think I need it. Actually, you know what, I think I'm going to leave that there because I think I'm going to just pull that up just a little bit. But I'm going to have to pull this, but I'm going to have to pull this vertex up here too. Just to give it some roundness at the top here. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is smooth this. So I'm going to hit 2 to get the smooth preview with the cage. Now I could just leave it like that. That doesn't look too bad. 
but I think I want some harder edges here, so I'm going to get my multi-cut tool, hold down control, and cut some control loops on these corners to tighten that up a little bit. And I'm also going to cut an edge right here in the middle because I think it would be good to scale that out a little bit, give that just a little bit of a curve. And now let's um, switch to object mode and I'm going to hide everything else in the scene so I can look at the bottom of this so that I can see obviously that I need some control loops down here at the bottom. So I'm going to get the multi-cut tool and cut some control loops down here at the bottom. And there you have a pretty nice bottle stopper. Now if you wanted to use a sphere you could do the same thing by starting with a sphere and grabbing these bottom vertices here flattening them out with a scale tool maybe scale them in a little bit and then grab these faces and I missed a few here but I'm just demonstrating very quickly and shift scale them in and then shift extrude them down and you get something like that and you can do some of the other things I did with the beveling and all that that's basically how you would do a sphere stopper. So that's how you make a stopper for our bottle. And um, in the next video, we're going to make the liquid mesh for the inside of the bottle and apply some materials. And I'll see you then.